A robotic mower relies on receiving the signal from the loop cable that surrounds the cutting area. If the cable for some reason fails to deliver good signal, it becomes a real issue for the mower, and it is not always easy to find the problem. With the Grimsholm Green Signal Cable Tracker, we make it easier to find the cable fault. The test equipment consists of two units. The sender sends out a signal in the loop cable, and then you can follow and track this signal with the receiver. We will show you how easy it is. Let's move to the charge station. Because it is here, you should start to do the troubleshooting. Remove the loop cable from the charge station. Clean the pins and change the cable contacts if they are old and seem to be oxidized. Then take a look to see if it solved the problem. After you have made sure the cable connection is good, but the robotic mower is still not working, the next step is to find out if you do have a break on the loop cable. But first, disconnect all cables including the power cord from the outlet. This is very important so as not to damage your mower or the testing equipment. Make sure you have mounted the batteries in both sender and receiver. You need a screwdriver for the battery lid on the receiver. Connect the red and black cable on the sender to each other and put the sender button in mode CONT. If the CONT lamp lights, you have done a successful function test on your cable tester. Now put the black clamp to one of the loop cable ends and the red one to the other end of the loop cable. Now the CONT lamp shall light up again. If it does, there is no break on the cable. If the CONT lamp does not light, there is a problem with the loop cable and we need to find where it is. Take a piece of metal, like a screwdriver, and put that deep into the ground. Connect the black cable to the metal part of the screwdriver. Now you have grounded your testing equipment and this is a very important step. The red cable shall be connected to one of the loop cable ends. Put the sender in mode Tone. Start and tune up the volume of the receiver. Push the receiver button and start to follow the loop cable from the point where you connected the sender to the loop cable. You should hear a beep. If you don't hear one, get closer until you touch the cable with the tip of the receiver. Be aware that the receiver can only detect a signal from a visible cable when you are very close to it, or if the cable is very close to the lawn surface. If the cable is buried in the ground, you locate it first and then measure. Follow the cable and measure every fifth meter. As long as you follow the loop cable and you can hear the beep, you know that the cable is OK. But now the signal is gone. This means we have surrounded the fault and we can be sure we are very close to it, as we had the signal just five meters earlier. We have located the fault. We know that because there is good signal on one side of the coupling and no signal on the other side of it. Let's remove the old one. Here, we are using the Grimsholm Green joint coupling with sealing gel made for robot mower installations. Next step is to measure with the receiver again and you can hear that the signal is passing the new coupling properly. Your mower should now work again. Grimsholm Green repair kits and other products for robot mower installations can be found in the traditional robot mower specialist stores as well as online. Visit grimsholm.com to find out more.